What's up, everybody? It's Outside the Ropes here. I seen a video that Count Blackula did. I think it's Count Blackula 23. Great channel, bro. I've been subscribed to you uh, for a little minute now, and uh, I like the way you're keeping it real and shit. I enjoy your videos. And uh, he had put a video up the other day on racism, and it couldn't have come at a better time for me because I had happened to be going through some of the same exact things that he touched on uh, when he put that video up. And I'll tell you exactly what it was. Uh, my wife, um, we, we live near a Mexican market. It's called Vallarta. And uh, we've been shopping there for years. I like to go there and get the meat because they got the shit all seasoned up already and shit like that. And, I, you know, I add my own seasoning sometimes to it uh, to make it taste the way that I want and shit. But if I'm barbecuing or something like that, I like to go get their uh, carne asada, throw that shit on the grill, shit like that. I've been shopping there for years, spent thousands of dollars in this market. And... My wife was in there without me the other day, and she comes out of the store and she gets surrounded by three of their security guards, okay, and my wife is about 5'2", small woman, you know, small woman, doesn't bother anybody. She went in there, dropped $90, and she gets surrounded by security guards outside of the store, and they're asking her to see her receipt. Now, my wife said, you know what, why do you need to see my receipt? Are you checking everybody else's receipt? Why are you asking for my receipt? And all of a sudden, he didn't know any English. But anyway, he goes through her uh, her bag, he takes her receipt out, and then he starts going, putting his hands all over our shit. And uh, then he's talking about, oh, the, uh, you know, she paid for everything, talking to the other security guard. And thought that, you know, everything was butter and biscuits, and she was going to walk off into the sunset and everything was going to be forgotten and forgiven and shit. But my wife being who she is, she's from the Caribbean. She's from the island. So you know them already. They're not going to bite their tongue. They're not going to let no bullshit go. So she said, fuck that. She went in the store, asked to speak to the supervisor. The supervisor, he didn't give a fuck. He was looking at her like, oh, well, you're just some nigger. I don't, I don't care. Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Why she's talking and shit, right? So the... Loss prevention manager comes down and he says, you know what? I reviewed the camera and there was no reason for them to have pulled you over. I, I don't understand what they were doing, but they had no reason to do what they did. Uh, surprisingly, the three security guards had kicked rocks. Uh, they, they got the fuck out of Dodge. I didn't even know where they were. But put yourself in that security position for a second. Now, if you're going to stop somebody and check their groceries, you're trying to basically accuse them of stealing something. Wouldn't you want to be there when the manager's there and the loss prevention manager's there to explain yourself? No, these motherfuckers got ghosts and shit. Uh, for all we know, the manager could have told them to hide themselves like bitches because they knew that they fucked up. But anyway, you know, he, he, he says, you know, I don't know what they were doing and shit. So she's upset, you know what I'm saying? Because the manager never apologized to her. The loss prevention manager apologized. And I know the loss prevention manager. He's cool. He's the only cool motherfucker in there when I go in there. He's always saying what's up. He's cool. And I got mad respect for him and shit. He's always had respect and he don't treat us any different than anybody else. But I noticed, though that this is not the first run-in that we've had with these motherfuckers because I notice every time I go in there, they're watching me like a hawk. And let me remind you, I spend thousands of fucking dollars worth of groceries in that fucking store. I mean, I've been going there for a few years now, so it's not like they don't know me. I go in there, they're always watching me like a hawk from the minute I go in there, from the minute I leave. Um, I guess maybe sometimes, you know, I walk around looking for shit uh, because they seem to change their store around every other week. So... I can't never remember where everything is, but they're always following me around and, and, and just treating me like I'm some type of criminal that's going to steal something, which I don't understand why. Uh, I'm, a, I'm not a dirty, dingy motherfucker. I try to keep myself clean. I brush my teeth. I wash my ass. Uh, you know, I, I'm presentable when I walk out of the house. Uh, I have respect when I go in their store. I'm not in there loud or disrespectful or anything like that. And... I've turned my cheek so many times, even when the cashiers disrespect me and shit. There's always a female cashier uh, on all their check stands, and probably one of them smiles at me and is cool at me, uh, cool with me, rather when I go through her line. But I notice all the rest of them, you know, they're smiling and they're saying hello to the the Mexican customers and telling them to have a nice day and shit like that. And as soon as I get up there, their whole face drops. 
and they have an attitude with me. They don't want to put my change in my hand and they're just disrespectful and shit. I've let that shit go so many times and tried to be the bigger man and make them feel stupid for treating me like that. But they never learn. They still do the same shit. So this was the last fucking straw. And I went in there, man, because I wasn't there with my wife when this shit happened. But I went in there and I told them, you know what? I will respect y'all if you if you had a sign hanging up in front of your store that said Mexican only. If you had a sign that said Mexican only, I will respect that sign. I will not make a big deal about it. I will not complain or cry about it. I will respect it and I will, will understand that you don't deserve the money that's in my pocket anyway. So I will not fuck with your store. But... You want to have black people come in your store and spend their money, but you want to treat them different than everybody else. And I know what some of you guys are saying. Oh, there, oh, there you go. Pull on the race card, buddy. You love to pull that race card. But look, look, what other reason do they have to be watching me every time I walk into their store? It can't be my height. There's other motherfuckers around the same height as me in the store. It can't be my weight. There's motherfuckers that weigh the same as me. So what else is it? What is it about me that's making them watch me and shit when I've spent thousands of dollars in their store? I'm coming in there clean and fresh. They couldn't think I'm broke. I'm paying for my groceries every time I come in there, so they couldn't possibly think that um, I'm stealing some and, and paying for some. They couldn't think that. I'm not hanging around the liquor. I don't even buy liquor from them. So what is it that makes them watch me every time that I go into their store when I'm respectable when I go in there, I'm presentable, and I pay for my shit. What other reason is it? Even when I went in there, he said, oh, well, you shouldn't look at it you know, about a racial thing. Well, what is it? Tell me why you guys are disrespectful to me. Why are three security guards surrounding my wife after she just dropped $90 on y'all? What, what other reason? What am I supposed to think? What am I supposed to think? That is not about race. What other reason? Give me a reason why. When I've been shopping here for years. And that's a stereotype that bothers me, man. All black people ain't going to steal shit. Um, and, and we're not all criminals and hoodlums and shit, man. You know, even just because some of us are from the streets and shit and we carry ourselves, we got that street mentality and shit, don't mean that we're going to hurt you, we're going to rob you, we're going to kill you. Why do you guys act like that? You know, and it's not just that Mexican market. I mean, I've gone into uh, little convenience stores, corner stores with Asians and even um, um, Indians, Middle Easterns, and they all have that same fucking attitude, man. Like, we're going to do something to them and shit. That's a stereotype that I hate, man, and I wish motherfuckers would get over that shit and respect everybody's money the same. I'm spending the same money that everybody else is spending. So treat me with some respect, like I give you, like I give the store respect when I walk in there. Give me that same respect. I speak to people, I speak to the motherfuckers when I go in there. But yet still they want to treat me like I'm a criminal every time I go in there, man. I, I want you guys to share some of your stories. Um, it's not a black thing. If, I mean, if this has happened to you, uh, no matter what race you are, share your story and... I just want to hear it, man, because this happens to black people a lot. And when we talk about this stuff and when we bring it to their attention, they say that we're playing a race card all the time. Like racism doesn't exist. Like they're not actually being racist. They want to throw it back at you like you're the one who's an idiot just pulling a race card. But yeah, you're not giving me any reason why you're treating me different than anybody else that's, that's in the store. So it's not a race card. I'm calling it like it is. If you can't give me any other reason why, I'm calling it like it is. But they love to throw that race card shit at you. Like you're pulling the race card and you're just being an idiot making shit up. And I'm tired of that shit, man. So you guys leave me your thoughts, man. Let me know what you guys think about shit like this. Um, and I'm out, man. Leave your comments. Peace.